This is a video about buckets and how they have the potential to completely break Elden Ring. Sorry, not actually that kind of bucket, but those are nice too. They, you know, hold water and stuff. But for the purposes of this video, this is a bucket. And this is a bucket. Really, a bucket is anything that you can fall into and not have any way back out of without either teleporting or dying. And if you have a save file that you've put a lot of time into, you should be very, very cautious around these. Thankfully, most games have some kind of safeguard against a character getting permanently stuck in a bucket like this, and Elden Ring is no exception, with its inclusion of fast travel and the memory of grace. So even if we find ourselves stuck in one of these buckets, we should always have a way out. Okay, now this is actually a problem. So while buckets on their own are fairly inconsequential, From Software also included this a special debuff to the character that prevents you from using any means of teleportation. No map warping, no memory of grace, no pure blood knight's metal, nothing. And if you happen to be afflicted with this debuff when you fall into a bucket, well, that character is now permanently stuck forever. Technically, if you happen to have something on your character that can inflict self-damage, death is a way out. But if not, well, better get started on a new character. Thankfully, in the current state of the game, it is almost impossible to do this by accident. This debuff is a special version of the trapped debuff that's different from the one you get from caves or from trapped chests. With those, you're still free to use your memory of grace at least. So far, I've only found this version of the debuff in two places, in Morgoth's Arena and in Radon's Arena, both after defeating the boss, but before resting at the side of grace. And in order to carry this debuff outside of the boss arena and into a bucket, you actually have to do a very particular glitch using a ladder, called a ladder warp. Basically, by doing a very specific set of inputs near a ladder, or by getting hit by an enemy at the same time as trying to interact with a ladder, your position in the game's save data will be stored on the ground next to the ladder. So the next time you quit out and reload your save file, you'll spawn next to the ladder instead of wherever you were before when you quit the game. So. To recap, by defeating either Morgoth or Radon with your position stored on a ladder, you have the potential to exit their arenas while still maintaining the trapped debuff, carry it over to one of these buckets, and permanently softlock your save file. So would that be a hardlock then? I don't really know the difference between a hardlock and a softlock, but you get the idea. Terrifying stuff. Okay, maybe not actually that terrifying, considering how unlikely it is to happen naturally, but it is something to look out for in the newly released DLC, where interactions like these have had a lot less testing by the player base. So be careful out there. Also, please don't try and recreate this on your own and then cry in the comments about how I made you lose your save file with 10,000 hours in it. This video is purely for educational purposes only. Anyways, thanks for watching.